Hi, I'm Peter Cooper. This is a super quick screencast just to show off a piece of code that Google's just released called Collide. It's a collaborative IDE. Clever a bit of wordplay there. So it came from this post uh, by Scott Bloom, who used to slash no longer currently works for uh, Google. And they were working in Atlanta on this system called Collide, a collaborative IDE. Unfortunately, Google's kind of shutting down that department and so on and so forth. You can read that in his Google post here. Um, but they decided to push out the work that they'd done from something called Google Collide into this more general thing called Collide. So it's been uh, all pushed out, the code. You can go and play with it. So what you need to run this, um, the requirements are very simple. Java 7 is the main thing. You, you need Ant 1.8.4, it says, but I didn't even bother to check for that, and it just worked fine anyway. Um, got Java 7. So if you are on OS 10, you can come along to the OpenJDK site and download OpenJDK um, 1.7. I had already had this running for playing with JRuby, um, but once you've got all that installed, and there's loads of instructions out on how to do this if you Google for it, but you can come into the Java Preferences uh, pane in OS X, just use Spotlight, search for Java Preferences, and it'll bring it up. Um, bring your Java uh, 1.7 up to the top here, close this. Now, when you bring up a terminal, which I'll bring in here, you type Java dash version, and you should be running the 1.7, so all good to go. So all you do is you come along to Collide, uh, you go to Downloads, and do what I did here, just download this uh, tar um, bz2 file, open that up, and I did just that, so I will not have to repeat this. It's in my Downloads folder, I cd into the directory, we have a quick look what's here, super duper simple, I've got my correct version of Java running, I run Collide, and it says started. So what do we do now? Well, we have to go on localhost to 8080. So here we are on localhost at 8080. See if I can increase the font size here. Oh, there we go, excellent, right. So because I've run it directly from the folder I downloaded it to and expanded it into, it shows me the code that is currently there. So I can click on these and uh, get access to this stuff. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up Safari with the um, same basic URL in there. So I'm doing this on a different screen. I'm going to drag this in. Um, if you are fresh to um, Collide, it will ask you what your name is. So I'm going to put in other person, for example. Let me in. Now, if I go and access the same file, the bootstrap.js, and if I can just sort of cram these into the screen somehow. Uh, normally, my screen isn't like this. It's just because I'm doing this for screencasting purposes. So. Uh, you see this load code here, it's the same on both. If I, you know, put on a, a semicolon, you can see it updates in the other screen, um, and so on. So it is collaborative, everything works between multiple different browsers that you have open. I'm personally going to perhaps use this for doing a bit of training. Um, it seems like this might be useful for that, rather than, or at least initially, for people who perhaps aren't experienced with using uh, Tmux and doing things on the, in the terminal like that could be handy. So very quick introduction, just to quickly show you what it is. There's lots more stuff in here. Um, for example, there's a debugging add-on that you can get. Um, it needs Chrome, though, by the looks of things. Um, haven't played around with this at all, but apparently there's breakpoints and debugging. Whether that's enabled or not, I have no idea. Um, and there's more stuff here about working with the collaborators and all that type of thing. And you know, um, I haven't really dug any deeper than that. Just wanted to quickly show off the tool. So it's called uh, Google Collide, if I can spell properly. Um, just go and search for Google Collide, and you can download that um, or look at the URLs earlier in the video. So thank you. Bye bye.